Hello everyone, Voodoo here, and in today's video, I want to talk about trinkets. Not for Mythic Plus, but for Raid. There's a lot of options, really, amongst the four trinkets to use for different boss fights. Five if you count Midas Talzman. So in today's video, I'm going to break down which to use where, and what kind of the top trends are doing. Before we do that, make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. We're like 200 some away. Also, shout out to Goose in the background there. And with that, let's go on to the video and talk about some trinkets. So I guess first things first is just, what are the trinkets? Well, as we can see here on the Warcraft Logs page, if we go down and look at all the top trinkets, most of the time you'll find a passive and an active, except for some cases you will find two passives, but you know, that's just kind of uh, related to um, just, you know, how, how it represents data here. So you're gonna always want an active for Havoc and pretty much always want a passive as well. And most of the time, as we go through it, we'll see that those are either ashes for the active or branch for the active, and then either augury for the passive or Catacombs and Signet Brand for the passive. So in today's video, we are going to break down which is really better on each, on, uh, each fight. Now, a lot of these things are going to be some people parse well with one thing, and then a lot of other people will see that and do the same thing, um, which is going to be the case pretty often. Uh, you will see that pretty commonly. Um, just you know how these kind of things work, right? Not not really a ton to it, but um, realistically speaking, you can use any of these four trinkets and be fine, as long as you're not using branch ashes for some reason. I don't know why you'd ever do that. Um, as long as you're not doing that, then you're gonna be fine. So we'll start with the active talk because I think it's pretty interesting. So if we look at um, the top parses here for Gnarl Root, I don't know why I opened this, but a lot of them here are going to be ashes of the Ember Soul. See here, it's 66 percent, which is pretty interesting. Um, so the reason why You'll see it's like 66% for Gnarl Root, but if we go to like a later boss, like we'll go down to something like Farak or something, right? And we'll do a view more. Um, we'll see that Branch is actually there 22% of the time. A lot of people doing Augury uh, Signet on this last boss here, which I guess actually does make a lot of sense. Um, but you'll see Branch come up often as well. And the difference between Ashes and Branch is really just that of A, how easy they are to play because um, Branch is a lot harder to play than Ashes is. And B, is there some type of place to burst on the fight? So you'll see on these fights with a lot of different bursts to them. Gnarl especially, there's a lot of AOE to burst on. There's a lot, there's a, a damage amp window. Ashes absolutely clears there because you get this massive influx of stats and then have a drawback. That massive influx of stats actually works really, really, really well when you have that damage amp on the intermission. Same is true for stuff like uh, Volkaros, where the fight is just pretty short. Um, if you're, you know, doing a really short fight, then uh, you want that burst. Ashes is pretty good. Uh, if you don't want to fuck around with Witherbark's branch, Ashes is again pretty good. Uh, Council Dreams, you're hitting multiple targets, so Ashes is pretty good there. Um, and, and generally speaking, you really can just play either one. Nimue, you'll see a lot of people playing branch. It's a lot easier to use branch in that fight. And realistically, the difference between the two, very minor. Tendril, you use brand, uh, Ashes because of the root set, pretty iconic and easy to know there. And for Rack, you can kind of just do whichever. So if you look over at some Sims, I have both a Branch and an Ash of the Ember Soul at 49. We can see here on a five minute Sim that uh, Ash of the Ember Soul is like 1.6% or 4,000 DPS behind Branch. Now, this is assuming perfect usage of Branch. And if you do use branch a little wrong, it definitely will end up pushing it lower and closer to ashes. And you can also actually gem your stuff differently to make ashes better. Um, that haste and losing that haste can actually be like mitigated, I guess, so to speak, by different gems and different things. I'm missing a gem slot in this gear set because I put it on my BSLs and whatever. And you use BSL, it'll be different and yada, yada, yada. This is just with uh, toxic boots right now. So realistically speaking, over a five minute fight, very slightly ahead for branch. But if you look at just burst, right? This is a 20 second sim, which is a crazy sim to do, right? That's really weird. Um, we can see that Ashes is 0.5% ahead or 2,649 DPS ahead of branch. Um, if we look over at 40 seconds in, so this is you know double the duration now, we see they're basically the same. Uh, whenever you see things within the blue there, they're within margin of error. So these are within 600 DPS. Um, doing like 300,000 DPS. So that's like 0.2%, right? So it's it's pretty much within margin of error. Doesn't really matter which you pick here. And then as we go to a minute, we see that Ashes starts to drop off a bit here. So realistically, what happens here is that Branch is that consistent option that's good because of the agility on it. You see Branch has agility. However, it's pretty easy to mess up. Um, and I, I honestly, I've been playing with it. Definitely is usable. 
but you know when you're just reclaring you're just blasting bosses i don't blame you for not wanting to use this uh, at all uh they they made this this drink it pretty uh pretty unuser friendly so to speak now if you can get the most out of it it's going to do a lot of damage for you uh, if you get lucky or whatever and the mastery is great on your initial stuff but Ash is just really easy to use and it's really good in burst as we've shown here and this will scale up into more targets as well ashes is very very strong in multiple targets but the haste loss doesn't matter as much and that's why you can kind of see um just it being used on these burst damage windows right you have it there for burst you have it on Laradar. you can use it a bit for burst you have it on a council where you use it a bit for burst um just because you're fighting multiple targets you have it on volcaros where it's used a little bit because the fight doesn't last that long that burst can be pretty valuable for you there you see here a lot of people are using it i feel like too on this case here it's just because people don't want to mess around with the orbs and they see people using um ashes here and just follow that because you know, wither bark would also be pretty good on this fight but you know again on these short short fights when it's like two minutes three minutes something like ashes will be perfectly fine um and and, and do very very well for you and then like realistically you know Branch is also a fine substitute, but basically if there's multiple targets to hit or if there's damage amps, Ashes will often beat out Branch, especially because Branch is just not the best thing to use, right? It's not pretty, not easy to use, it's unfortunate to use. Uh, chasing the orb is not fun for a lot of people. So important to keep that in mind. What's actives? What about passives? Well, for passives, again, there's really two options. And if we look back at the, um, the things here, we see that oftentimes we'll see Augury pop up. Now the two ones are Augury and Cataclysmic Signet Brand, and depending on the boss fight will depend on which one's actually better. And you also should be simming yourself and seeing. It's gonna really depend on like uptime and stuff. Uh, but pretty much the thing with Cataclysmic Signet Brand is that it's really, really powerful if you can get the full value out of it. So if you can get it to 15 stacks. Now on average, this takes around three and a half to four minutes um, to reach 15 stacks. And then after every minute it goes past that point, is a minute where Cataclysmic Signet Brand does much, much, much better, right? Um, just because it's doing so much damage, right? I, I got a Mythic one last week on our reclear. It's doing so much, it's absolutely blasting. So really recommend getting one of these if you don't have it yet. Uh, very, very strong for this tier. But if you're under that threshold, if you're under the three and a half, four minute threshold, then Augury is actually really, really good. The thing with Augury uh, is that it gives you crit, which itself isn't that great, and also is really RNG. Generally speaking, over the course of a fight, this will even out, but it's definitely possible. And I guess it's also, you know, this is also RNG. The difference between getting one of these and not is, is pretty big. I know on like a fight recently, uh, me and the other Havoc, his proc a ton, mine didn't, and it was like a massive DPS difference. That felt pretty much like the upper echelon of RNG there. Um, but, you know, you can obviously get it more towards the middle on average. So you'll see Augury happen a lot in these shorter fights, two minutes, three minutes. Uh, Agira here is oftentimes long enough to matter. Sometimes it's short, really varying crazy kill times on Agira here, which caused it to kind of go all over the place. Um, you can see it here a bit on Council of Dreams. It's not as good into AOE because it doesn't scale very well. You get 15% uh, more damage on it per target, but generally speaking, Havoc abilities do more per target, right? It's like 50% as you increase. Uh, Signet Brand does a ton of its damage as, it, as you go up, 10% amongst all nearby enemies, which is really good. Um, Laradar as well, you can see it's happening here you know, on shorter fights or just, you know, it's a really good single target trinket. So Augury also very strong. Um, you'll see that it comes up a lot in Farak. It's just a really, really good passive single target trinket for Farak. It can proc on the, on the big guys and do a ton of damage there. Um, but the real case, again, is just uptime. So I have these graphs here. These are made by uh, Sizen. He is a sub of the channel. He's a Twitch sub, a big friend of the channel. Shout out to him. Who did fight length graphs to look at the difference between uptime for Signet and Augury. So the midline here is Augury damage and the up and down is how much more Signet will be doing. So we see here that the breakpoint for a 489 Augury is roughly around four minutes. It's between three and four minutes where you have 0 0.53 and 0 0.4. Now I could probably do math and figure out where that would be, um, but because it's like slightly more leaning towards the three minute side, it's probably like three minutes and like 35 seconds or something like that when Augury on average starts to lose out to Signet at equal eye level. You see here at six minutes, it's pretty far ahead. 2% is pretty big. Look over at Mythic though, it's a little bit different. We see here at four minutes, they're basically equal. 0.06% is 
essentially the same thing that's within margin of error. So at four minutes here with the eye level gap, they are equal. Five minutes, Signet is better. Six minutes, Signet is significantly better. And the graph would continue to go up as the fight goes on. It would probably taper off at some point because, you know, there's only so much extra damage you get from the trinket. But um, it Signet is just better on longer fights. The thing there is that most fight lengths um, outside these last three here are pretty short. Five minutes on Nimue, uh, five minutes on Laradar, four minutes on Council, four and a half, three minutes on Volcaros, anywhere from four to five minutes on Agira, three minutes on Gnarl Root. So you often see a ton of fights here where you don't really need Signet Brand because the fight length is so short. Now, again, 10 minutes or whatever, or not 10 minutes, five minutes is still pretty good for this or four minutes. But you see that the um, randomness of, of Augury is still pretty good. And obviously on these fights too, if you don't want to mess with uh, the actives, Augury is a very good trinket as well. The last one I want to talk about is just Midas. Midas is really strong for Smolderon because you have it for every single um, intermission. You pop it like 10 seconds before a pull, it comes up every single intermission, does a ton of damage. So you'll see it on Smolderon where it's very common. Moral of the story, long story short, it really doesn't matter which you choose between Branch and Ashes. Both are good. Both are strong, both are good at different things. Ashes, probably speaking, is better for more bosses because of the um, burst component to it on adds, the ease of use, it makes it really, really good. Branch, if you can get the most out of it, still very strong. We see lots of tar parses use it. Otherwise though, Signet and Augury are both good to get as well. You can use both of them on things like Farak for a ton of damage. The AOE proc can do really, really good on all the adds there as well. Um, the single target damage there is great. And on any fight where you're lasting a long time, Signet is going to absolutely blast. So as long as you have those four trinkets, you really can't go wrong this tier. You'll be able to parse like the best of them. Well, not, you know, obviously you need like player skill and stuff, but uh, you will do well on parses if you have those and have the skill to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Did this little video just to kind of uh, show people what people are using, talk about it. I've seen some questions. I wanted to use those graphs that Sizen made. Very, very great stuff. Appreciate the, uh, them. They are doing wonderful stuff there with uh, data and I don't know what program they used. I'm going to say RStudio because I've been using that recently for my job. But hey. Anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Drop a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you're new here. Um, pretty low point for WoW content right now, but Season 4 is around the corner. Uh, War Within is around the corner. So lots of cool stuff happening in the coming future. Also help us get to 10k. So thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. A big thank you to all my channel members. Thank you Sky Elk, Fede Grigori, Andrew Kino. Guillermo Lamas, period, Brad Wisniak, It's Bulk, Magic Man 133, and Hao Lee. Thank you all so, so much. You guys are amazing, and I really appreciate the extra support. If you guys want to support me, consider becoming a channel member below. You get access to exclusive videos and some emotes to use in comments and stuff, as well as a special part of my Discord. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate it, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.